me again, a girl in desperate need for some clarity as to why people care so much about what Michael Jackson does to his body or not because um, actually um, I don't think I could care less actually now if he could make decisions regarding what I do with my body I guess that would be different then that's because it's my body not his I think what he does to himself is his personal decision Although, I think, um, a lot of these plastic surgeons are certainly lacking in the integrity department because, uh, no medical operation is supposed to, uh, hurt someone's health, I thought. Uh, I don't know if they do, like, the Hippocratic Oath thing anymore, but I thought it covered all of that, you know? I mean, I'm trying to figure out what whack jobs keep on giving the man plastic surgery when obviously he doesn't need it. He never did need it. He was an attractive guy. I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't care if the man dyes himself blue. It's his money and it's his body. And I don't think it's anybody's business. As, as far as the case goes, it's stupid. The man didn't have any time. His schedule is very hectic. That's why it's been affecting his health for many years. One of the reasons why he divorced his ex-wife or I don't know, should I say that? I don't know how that went. Maybe she divorced him. But um, they never saw each other. And then the man has a house that's like freaking thousands of, thousands of feet. Oh. Whatever, you, you guys know what I mean. There's like a hundred people at least every single day running the place. He has little children, like probably babies at the time, that require nannies all the time. Then there's the obvious security, being the most famous person in the world that you need. And um, witnesses and stuff. So it doesn't make any sense. Then, as far as you know what everybody else gets, like, you test for DNA samples and you, um, do medical examinations on, uh, and, and they have rape kits and stuff like that. And one would, um, obviously see, uh, emotional, psychological changes, uh, after a traumatic experience with a child. You have all these things and all of them can't hold water. And then you have time on your side, too, because they've been hounding the man for, like, five-some years, not longer. I mean, maybe it's because he just didn't freaking do it. It's like the O.J. Simpson case, um, people say, justice was not served, blah, 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 blah. What was Marsha Clark smoking when she gave the man ten minutes to kill two people? He had to kill the man, then the woman. He had to get past the dog. He had to get there, then come back. He washed up all the evidence and took a shower. And he performed all of this in a glove that was five sizes too small in ten minutes. That's... That's some good stuff. I mean... I don't know what you have to take in order to be able to accomplish all that in 10 minutes, but that's miraculous if it's true. I don't know. So don't, don't like say, oh, you know, it's Black's fault. Ugh.